The Bayelsa State Government wants to build some units of duplexes and bungalows to meet the housing needs of civil servants and people of the state. The decision was reached at a meeting of the State Executive Council in the Government House, Yanagua. TVC's Uvieta George reports. The construction of 110 duplexes is approved by the State Executive Council for the low density area. In situations where affordability becomes a hindrance to owning a duplex, the middle class civil servant may consider a second category of the housing scheme. ESCO had to look at the high density area, the middle class, which covers mostly civil servants and also buyers out there who cannot afford the first 110 duplexes. But in this case, we are going to build also bungalows for this other set of persons. And ESCO has graciously approved a total unit of 250 for that class of uh, uh, buyers so that we will build it and they will now purchase same from government. But the, the period of payback will be extended so that it will be able to accommodate their resources. The new acting head of service, Thomas Zidafamo, attempts to douse fears in the workforce over the launch of Operation No Work, No Pay in the state. This policy is not intended to sack any worker in the state. The policy trust of reorganizing the state public service is to make sure that a new working culture, a reformed and better working culture, is brought into the service. The Bayelsa state government wants a total transformation of the civil service for improved performance in 2017. Ufieteme George, TVC News, Yenagoa. As the Lagos state government 